All right, guys, so these are all the prints that we printed with the Anacubic Cobra 3 combo. So I'm quite impressed as it definitely delivers on the multicolor printing and just impressed with all of the features and the capabilities that we have now with combo kits like this. So there is quite a few things to talk about, but first things first, let's go ahead and look at our prints. So we started off with some single printing, which we saw some benchies over there. I actually printed two more benchies and these were actually a file that was in the printer that I didn't notice right away. It was the 15 minute benchie. So it made a huge difference of the quality. I'm not sure exactly what's going on with the 12 minute benchie, but that thing didn't look so good compared to this 15 minute benchie. So just a few minutes more and we're getting amazing quality so this is just in black PLA here literally only took 15 minutes and look how nice this looks so much much nicer than our 12 minute benchy and here we have another 15 minute benchy in this green color so you guys can see maybe a little better so yeah very impressive for the 15 minute compared to this 12 minute one here that we printed earlier which looked a little droopy and overheated somewhat so yeah that's quite interesting and that's what I've noticed with this printer is that slicing is everything. As the precision is there with the axes and the extruder, but the slicing has a lot to do with how your prints turn out. So let's go straight into color printing. So this is one of the first prints we printed here that we sliced ourselves. So we got different colors here. I'm not sure, I think I did this wrong, but yeah, we're supposed to have different colors on each side. But here we have the X, the Y, the Z's on the bottom. So you guys can see it actually did a great job we have a different color here so we have four different colors here on this cube and that's a lot of color changes which produced this purge block which is not too heavy but we also have a contribution of these little poops here that you guys see to the side so the next one i printed which was supposed to be just dual color white and gold and you guys can see we definitely had an issue as i had a lot of color bleed and this is before i realized that i did make a mistake on this slice First of all, I didn't tell the printer what color I was printing. I just changed the filament in the Ace Pro without setting the colors here, which I think made it not know how much to purge because I do believe that it's quite smart as if it knows the colors and knows that it needs to purge more between light colors and darker colors. So even though gold is not technically a dark color, but you guys can see we still had quite a bit of bleed. I did correct it somewhat as it went up here in the display where you can adjust the purge amount while it's printing which i realized that later and you guys can see down here where it was completely white and how clean it's supposed to be so but overall it still turned out it all printed it all looks great this was the footprint of where it had to stick to the build plate and it stuck so i had no issues whatsoever with the pei sheet everything sticks very well and stays stuck and then pops right off when it cools off so yeah very nice print great overall except for the color bleeding it's pretty impressive and here we can see the purge block for this whole print again it's not too thick or too heavy but there's some weight to it and again a lot of poopies here to the side now here's a print that i believe we've seen already but we can see that it looks really nice and this is the one that was included with the printer turned out very well very clean and this is the purge block to it which wasn't too large Actually, it was on the smaller side. If you're going to do color printing, just understand that it will take time. It's not so much how big the model is compared to how many color changes it has to do. So you actually get more efficiency with a bigger model compared to a smaller one, which I'm going to about to show you guys. <laughs> this model here, which took forever to print. We do have four different colors, white, blue here, purple, and gold. And I painted this myself in the slicer. I'm not sure how well I did, but we have different colors unfortunately something happened it didn't finish at the very top here on the head but thankfully we got pretty much throughout the whole way but this print here was over 15 hours i think it was like 18 hours which is pretty incredible and it had so much little poops here but also pretty large tower too so again the printer does extremely well with the quality and the slicing and the overall printing part of it just considering how much filament you use is also a factor in color printing so here we have another color print that I painted myself or colored in in the slicer. And you guys can see it turned out actually pretty nice. I love this Sigma in gold. It looks beautiful. So we got white. So there was an overhang there that kind of drooped. I didn't use supports. But in any case, we got white, blue, white, and then gold. And then we got this blue and white on the side. More blue and white on the top. So And we do have the little DNA strand in the middle that's gold. But... It's not perfect. But overall, guys, you can see the qualities there and it looks beautiful. And that's the important part about the color printing is it can do a great job 
and again you do have to slice it really good for it to get a good quality and here we have the purge block for that print again not too bad so here we have a more simple one that was included with the printer so it's like a I guess a can opener or, or whatever but it's just in dual color here and this is our purge here pretty small so yeah for something flat and minimal like this it actually is not too bad for the color print here we have just a more normal kind of print which was printed in single color this one i actually sliced straight from the app on anycubic so you just find it and then send it to the printer and these are two individual pieces so we got this pumpkin i guess and the peach and then in green we got the stem part and the stem just kind of slides in there which i thought was pretty cool print so yeah that was kind of fun to print and you guys can see it looks really good overall so you can slice an sdl file just using your phone and sending it to the printer so we also did spiralize mode is the two rockets you guys see here the little one here is actually in tpu and as you guys can see it didn't turn out perfect as we got some gapage there and i believe i had the speed up a little too fast it can print tpu but you know you do have to kind of mess with the settings a little more because this is you know one layer all around it's pretty bendable here Slowing down would have probably resulted in a much better quality, but yeah, this is what we got. And then our large one here is in spiralized mode. It is the full height of what this printer can print, which is around 260 millimeters. And this thing turned out really good, guys. The bottom, the walls are just stunning. So the printer does have really good precision with the dual Z axes that are tethered. And yeah, overall, just minimum ghosting and it looks really good. Now, when we do get here to the top, we do have a cooling issue. And one of the reasons for that is we are printing at higher temperatures. And when it gets to something this thin, it just melts too easily compared to the amount of cooling it has. So yeah, it could probably do a little better if I turned down the nozzle temperature, but we probably wouldn't have got this nice finish here if it wasn't hot enough. So yeah, but again, that's something that needs to be fine-tuned in the slicer for whatever you're printing but yeah as you guys can see the printer performs very well the part that really stuck out to me is how we can just pull this thing out of the box with the ace pro connect everything and just start printing color prints now with that said it's not without its drawbacks as you guys can see here we have a lot of the purge poops and there's a whole mountain over here of them and they go all the way around kind of to the front and that's one thing to consider if you want to do this kind of printing with multicolor is you're going to have a lot of purges now if you slice your models wisely or i guess more purposely you can get more output compared to this what you see here because i'm doing just small models one at a time we're going to have a lot of waste if you plan for multi models and shapes and whatnot else where you can print more instead of change more that'll be a little more efficient obviously but if you're just you know kind of having fun and printing fun things be ready to accept a lot of this waste not including also these purge towers which we'll put over here as a reminder but with that said guys the ace pro box is quite impressive because printer itself is quite capable but with the ace pro it just takes it to a new level and you can also use the box as a filament dryer while printing or even just on standby and it just has a very clean and easy setup that just works and you guys can see we do have the single spool here still installed at the moment because i used it for tpu as the ace pro doesn't support tpu as it's too flexible to go through the whole system so i just got the external tube here and one of the ace pro tubes disconnected so yeah the printer is very versatile and again everything just works and we get a very good build volume of 250 by 250 and 260 millimeters tall it does print very fast as you guys see the benches come out beautiful at 15 minutes it has vibration compensation built in out of bed leveling nothing to worry there you just turn it on and it calibrates itself this mechanism here for cleaning out and shooting the purges out works very well no issues there the cutter here is pretty unique how it operates all the cable and hose management is very nice we do have this cable in the front that goes from the ace pro would have been maybe a little nicer if it was somewhere to the back but you know not a big deal we got adjustable belt tensions on the y and x the touch screen works very well i wish it would have had smaller bezels but other than that it's a great screen and we are tethered with the dual z's which seem to be very accurate as we can tell by this spiralized spaceship also we're running on rods with metal rollers the direct drive extruder works very well i love this little anycubic glowing light here and the ace pro is quite clever with its rfid color registrations if you use the anycubic filament obviously but it's very easy to change it so yeah just everything works flawlessly the software the slicing even the app on the phone the only thing I have to say about the box is that your spools do need to be straight. So if they're made out of that cardboard and they're dented, that could be an issue. But as long as the spool is not bent, it works very well. You can connect a USB camera and have live view 
So if you want to get into color printing, I feel like you can't go wrong with the Cobra 3 combo.